What is good, YouTube? Adam over here, aka Value Bliss, coming to you with a whole video from an estate sale auction. Good auction. I just came back. It's late at night right now, but I want to show you what I came, what I got at the auction. Actually, I spent lots of money. I spent about five hundred dollars, but after calculating all the items I got, I should be able to resell everything for about fifteen hundred dollars total, and hopefully they will be all quick flips. So I got lots of antiques and vintage items, all hard goods. Let me show you what I got. Is some cool stuff I got. So let's start with this first item over here. Uh, this is a ship model. It's very detailed. It's uh, actually made out of plastic. It's a USS Constitution, but it's nice detail. Has the American flag. Nicely, nice model. Lots of string on the sails. So I paid ten dollars for this model, and I'm gonna flip it in my antique booth, and I'm gonna ask uh, not too much, about twenty-five bucks for this piece. Let me just put it down somewhere safe because it's very <coughs> delicate. Uh, this should be good over here. There's no room in this. Okay, next item. It's a big box here. I think I paid fifteen dollars for this box. Uh, they called it a trunk but it's not a trunk. This is actually a vintage toolbox. Uh, so it opens up, and let me show you. So I can pick it up. So like the, inside the lid has some shelving and some things you can put some tools in there. And also inside there is a tray with handles, nice painted green. Somebody painted this. This could be a homemade. Uh, but it has the padlock closure. You can put a padlock on it. it has handles on the side. So I paid $15 for this big box. And I'm going to put it in the antique booth. And I'm going to be asking about 65 bucks for this box. Two vintage toolboxes, big size, should sell pretty quick. Okay, next I also got a lot of uh, fishing rods. There's three of them. Uh, this one here is actually pretty long. I have it uh, in half. So three fishing rods. I paid ten dollars for all of them. Uh, so they all have reels on them. This one here has a nice older reel. So some reels may be worth money. So I don't know. I have to look it up, see if there's any good money in this old reel. But I'm thinking I'm gonna put these fishing rods in the antique booth, and I'm gonna ask fifteen dollar each. So I pay 10, I should make about 45 bucks, uh, sell them for all 45 bucks. And $15 each, that's a price to sell them quickly. Uh, so move the product. Okay, another cool item I got, uh, these are hard to buy at auctions because people bid them up. So this is an actual violin. And the case has a key. It comes with the case. It has the bow right here, nicely protected. So I think it's a smaller size. It's a beginner's violin, uh, but still a nice piece. A uh, very basic beginner's violin. All the strings are there, and this is Chinese made. So no, nothing high end. Uh, the maker is Skylark, and the value of this violin on eBay they are selling for about. 80 to 90 bucks. I paid $55 for this, so I should flip it for about $90 in the booth. And musical instruments do sell quickly in the booth. So that should sell. Because eBay, you have to pay 90 plus, you have to pay shipping. So people come to the booth and they just pay 90 bucks, no shipping. So they will buy it if they're looking for one. Okay, moving on. I got lots of glass here. You can see all the stuff on the table that I got today. Uh, the glass I got for almost nothing. But let me show you another bigger item. Uh, this is a piano stool and opens up so you can put your uh, music books and notes in there. Uh, for the piano stool, I believe I paid $15 and I'm going to sell that for about 40, 40 bucks. Again, it's going to go in the antique booth and should quickly sell there. Uh, so I got a very cool item here. This is an antique uh, Victorian. Uh, it's called an autograph album. 
So basically, uh, people would carry these around, and you would give it to your friends and people you meet to sign it for you. Uh, it's in kind of rough shape, but it's pretty old. It's from the Victorian era. Uh, like, for example, here, you can see it, it, there's some wishing wishes written down, and the date is 1888. Another one from 1888, so it's pretty early. This one is 1887. It's upside down. Some of them are written upside down, but it doesn't matter. 1887. So it's all nice, positive writing, nice wishes. Uh, some of them I can read. Have all the things. Like this one says, have all the things called past that which is good. 1887, January 23. So it's a pretty nice piece. Victorian. Some of them have put people put stickers on them. And this one's also 1887. And just a sticker. Um, so some blank pages. I paid $25 for this at the auction, kind of on the high side. On eBay sales, there are different uh, cover albums, and they are in sales anywhere from uh, 20 to 40 bucks, depends on what you have. So I'm going to try to list this on Etsy and ask to, uh, 40 bucks. So I won't be making much on it, but still a nice piece to get and, and to read through. It's a over 100 years old item. Okay, uh, what else can I, what's next here? So this is a nice, I think it's crystal or glass, at least a glass bowl, and it has an overlay silver decoration. It's very old, I think it's from the 40s. So I, I bid on a lot of crystal, and there was a whole table full of crystal items, and I, I bid $1, and I had to buy 10 pieces, so $1 each. So I paid a buck for this piece, and then I also had to buy... Ten more pieces uh, of crystal, so I got this little crystal footed uh, ball for one buck. So this is going to go in the booth. I can even put this online. This is about 10 to $15 item. Uh, I also got these cool, these are old from the 40s. Uh, so these are night, uh, knife rests. So you put your knife, you put it on the table, and you cut something with the knife, a cake or a turkey. And you rest the knife on top of it so you don't put it on the table. So nice vintage early crystal and knife rest. And these are worth, this pair can go for about 40 bucks and this at $20 item right here. And I paid a buck each. And then more crystal stuff, I paid a dollar each. So I picked up the bigger balls that were there. So I got the one footed ball here and a nice uh, heavy lead crystal decorated a uh, cut uh, bow here uh, so that's and more crystal stuff again back each nice decoration I don't see any markings on it but I'm gonna sell this for about 10 to 15 dollars uh, each at the booth uh, just to sell them quickly and move the move the product and also I picked up this for the lot for 10 one dollar each and this is not crystal this is a glass but it's Nike nice cake stand. These are in high demand, and I can actually get 20 to 25 bucks for this piece of glass. And also crystal. So I, this, I got, uh, I paid two bucks each, a nice uh, crystal decanter, small one. So this could be used for like vinegar or some spices. So white vinegar, maybe black vinegar. Uh, but you can actually put anything in there that you like. You can even put perfume or put uh, some whiskey or alcohol, whatever you desire. But I think these are meant for vinegar with nice uh, crystal stoppers. Um, <clears throat> so moving on, I got this big item here. Uh, this was only five bucks, and that's why I got it. So it's a pedestal, a white pedestal. You, and here is a glass piece on top, and it lights up from the bottom. So it's a lit. lit pedestal and so 
Uh, I paid five bucks for it, and I'm probably going to use it to take pictures of slides, 35 millimeter slides. You can put it on top and take a nice picture. So it's going to make my life easier. So that's why I got it. And maybe I, in one time, I can even put it in the booth and flip it for about 20 bucks for a quick flip. All right. So I'll, this is a cool industrial kind of old uh, spotlight. They said it was a police light, but I don't think it's a police light because on the lens it says here uh, guide tractor lens. So it's a tractor light. So it's, it's pretty cool industrial and rustic uh, look, kind of steampunk. And this was only five bucks, and I can probably flip that on Etsy for about 35 to 40 dollars. So that was a nice pickup. I love picking up the industrial stuff. Uh, and I also got this as a one lot, those two items. Uh, I was supposed to buy them for five bucks uh, together, but I saw my receipt after they, uh, they charged me five bucks each, but it's still okay. So this is a vintage first aid kit box. It has the hygiene products logo like embossed on the metal. It's all metal. And here it opens up. And you have a nice shelf and has the sticker of the hygiene products. Pretty nice piece. All metal shelf. Uh, so kind of advertising, but you can still hang it in your workshop. And a nice vintage uh, first aid box for five bucks. I can probably sell this for about 30 to $35. And I can put that in the booth. I can also put it online. And the other item in this lot was this metal can. And has like an aluminum handle here. And I don't even know what this is used for. It says new something carriers. I can make it out what it says. New something with a K. Carriers. And then if you open it up inside, it has some stand like this. Uh, so, and it has like a double wall inside can not sure what this is for it was five bucks i have to research it but i'm sure i can sell this for 25 or more and i don't like to show you guys stuff that i don't know what it is but i just came back from the auction i didn't have much time to research i researched some items to get some pricing ideas so i can tell you how much stuff is worth and I was also able to buy a film camera at the auction. This is a Yashica. Nothing special, but it's, very, it's in very good condition, so which is a bonus. Uh, so it's a 35 millimeter. It's a Yashica Minister 3. I paid $10 for it, so I jumped up when they said 10 bucks. I didn't wait for them to ask for 5 And... I'm going to sell this on Etsy for about 40 bucks plus shipping. So, and this should sell quickly. Yashica cameras are very popular. Uh, moving on, so I got uh, also some matchbox holders, and this was the first item I got. And I don't know, if I, that was one of the items that maybe I shouldn't be bidding on, but I bid on them. So, there is a lot of four tin vintage matchbox holders they're pretty cool they don't come you don't see them often on auctions or even maybe in antique stores you find them this one has like a two double shelf and the last one is a nice one too with some fish and sausages uh, decorations so actually if i did pay up for these so they were on choice. I got, I bought them. I bought them all four, and I paid twenty dollars uh, each. So these four boxes cost me eighty bucks. Uh, but I'm gonna try to flip them for about thirty-five dollars each to flip it quickly. So I'm gonna put one in one antique book booth, another one in the other booth, and one on Etsy, one on eBay, and see where the first one sells, and maybe put the rest in there, see how the market reacts and where they sell the best. So it would be a good test. Yeah, but 20 bucks each was kind of pricey, but then I think the one with the sausages is good, and the one with double shelves is nice too, so they might be even worth more money. I still need to do some more research on them. On eBay, sales are anywhere from 20 
to sixty dollars. Uh, there is also cast iron matchbox holders, which are worth more money, and there is ones with advertising, which go for over hundred bucks. Okay, next lot here. I got this for twelve dollars and fifty cents. It's a couple of uh, rosewood uh, carved uh, figurines. So this is like an oriental figurine. And if you look at him, that he has white teeth. So I think the teeth are made out of bone. There is an issue with this guy. It's cracking in half. But I think it's still a nice piece. I can maybe sell it for about 20 bucks. And then this, a nice, cool, happy Buddha uh, figurine, also carved wood. And it's marked... The, this this one is marked uh, Hong Kong, and the other one has similar sticker, but it doesn't say Hong Kong, but I think it's also from Hong Kong. So I paid $12.15 for them, and I also was able to get some uh, bone carvings with that. And I don't know if this is ivory or not, some kind of tower, bone, I think it's a bone. Uh, and then here is an interesting piece to... And it's a ball, and inside it has, it looks like two more balls inside, and they're moving. It's a kind of toy or something, and I think it's made out of bone. I don't think it's ivory, but I will see if there's a way to test it. So, But anyways, I know if, if it's bone or ivory, I'm going to put this in the booth, and I won't, I'm going to probably ask 25 bucks a piece. Uh, and I got them all, these four pieces, for $12.50. That was a good buy. Oh, and I also got this little cup, was also part of the lot, and it's, I think it's a toothpick holder, uh, and it's marked on the bottom, WH Gas. So I need to research this guy, but probably 10 bucks, no more, unless it's something really special that I don't know about. All right. And I think also this little item was also with the, with the lot, and I have no idea what this is used for. Uh, so if you guys know, let me know in the comments. Check it out. It's a metal piece, and here it has some holes in it. And on the back, it also has like a straw hole, and it has like a holder, but the holder is made out of a coin. And on the coin, it says... Republic of Chile, and on the back, it says 20 centavos, and the date is 1925. So it's a pretty cool piece. Not sure what this is for, but this was also part of the lot. So I need to figure out what this is used for so I can sell it. Okay, and moving on, a nice piece here, a wooden jewelry box there are some scratches on top but this is nice vintage piece is marked here made in canada so it opens up it has the mirror and then also has a, another piece that comes up opens up like this another box inside the box um and it has a drawer so lots of compartments and uh, needs to be cleaned up a little bit with like a lint roller, but nice velvet uh, inside purple. I only paid five bucks for this box, and I'm gonna flip it on the antique booth for about thirty dollars. All right, um, moving on. So I showed you the crystal, and the uh, so I also you can see behind me here there is a bunch of uh, cracks. Here, so I got them all. I paid 20 bucks a crock, and I had to buy all six of them together. That, that's how they were selling, so I couldn't just pick one or two. So the big one here, this is a 10 liter crock, but this one is cracked all over, so it's not a good condition. I won't be selling that one. I'm just gonna probably keep it here in the home uh, for decoration. But all the other ones are in good condition, so I paid 20 bucks a crock. And there is a total of six crocs, so it cost me 120 bucks. And I'm going to probably sell this one for about $80 and the smaller ones for about 40 bucks. But each one is different size, and they go from bigger to smaller. They all 
half blue decoration, which is pretty cool, but no markings, no maker. Uh, so these are, uh, so they call them uh, ear crocs. I think there is merchant crocs. And then also this sixth one was this little guy with the lid. And usually the smaller ones might be the most money, you never know. I tried to look it up on eBay, I didn't find anything like this. Uh, but at least I will make uh, double my money on this buy or even better. So plus I like Crocs, they look nice and they're going to look amazing in the antique booth. That's why I picked them up. And it's just a shame that the big one is cracked. All right. Another nice item for the booth is this uh, vintage uh, wood saw. Uh, so it has a nice handle here, and you and you cut it. it has the wire. Uh, so this saw, I was able to get it at the auction today for only five dollars, and I'm gonna flip it for thirty-five bucks. Nice vintage too. Nice wall hanger for your garage or man cave. Very cool item. And I seen this saws go on auctions in previous auctions for like 25, 30 bucks before. So today was only five bucks, there was no interest, so I snagged it. All right, almost to the end. So I also picked up this little table, marble top and wood. Somebody put the marble on top, but I only paid five bucks for this and I'm gonna probably use it as a plant, uh, plant holder and if, I find something better, I'm gonna put that in the booth and flip it for like 20 bucks. Small little table with marble top, uh, nice nice item, five bucks, can't go wrong. But I think the best buy uh, that I got was some vintage perfume, per perfumes. Uh, I think this is like a cologne water. I looked it up online and so it says act Kolonisch Wasser, I think it's German, and I e e search for this on eBay, and it comes up the same name, but it has a different uh, logo and different top. I think this one is an earlier one, uh, and both is 30 ccm, and the newer ones, and even the back has the same building. They sell for about 40 bucks, but haven't found exact same one, so I might be asking even more for like $60. I still need to figure out now. I have to go to Canada Post and ask them if it's even possible to ship perfumes in the mail. I know in the States you can ship them, but you need to sh ship them by ground and you have to put some special sticker on the package, but I don't know if it's the same here in Canada Post, so I need to figure it out. And here is a nice old one. It's a uh, Le, Le Grain. Uh, Le Grain, almost full perfume bottle. On the bottom is embossed the bottle Le Grain. And this company, it's a French perfume company. And they were making perfumes in the uh, 1920 to the 1940s. So this is at least between that time period. So this is from the, could be from the 1930s. So it's a pretty old almost antique vintage perfume bottle. Uh, so let me tell you how much I paid for all these. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight different perfume bottles and together I paid 35, $32.50 $32 for all of them. So here is a, another one. Uh, first, Eau de Toilette, so it's toilet uh, water and just a little bit left, but it's a big bottle. It's a 240 ml, and it's an older one because, as you can see, it has the embossed on the bottom. So this one I see on eBay, they sell for like half full, 120 ml. They sell for about 20 to 30 bucks, but I haven't seen the 240 ml. So people might just buy it just even for the bottle alone, not for the what's inside. But what's cool is I also have the same one, but 60 mil, and has more in it, and has spray bottom, spray thingy. But you can see on the bottom, this one has a sticker, and this one's in both. So I think this one's early. Uh, so these sell for about 15 to 20 bucks on eBay, like used, 
with a little bit in the bottle. So I can maybe sell them together for 25 bucks. And this one, I don't know, this is the old one, might be at about 40 to $60 item, could be even more. I need to research that more. But it was a good buy. I'm going to make money on those perfumes. And here I got a cool two different sizes, same perfume. And this is, a, as you can see, Cinema by Yves Saint Laurent, YSL, and Cool Bottle with the, his logo here in gold. So this is a bigger one, 19 millimeter, made in France. So this big bottle on eBay, even used, they are asking for about 80 bucks, so that's a good buy. And smaller ones, so it could be 80 and maybe 50 here, so $130 just for these two guys. And I paid, for all of them, I paid 30 bucks. And here is another bottle. This one's nothing special. Guerlain Paris Insolence. Uh, this one's about like ten dollar item that I see online. But I like this is interesting. It's an empty perfume bottle and it has a very nice uh, looking stopper, uh metal. Well I think this is like a Victorian era from the eighteen hundreds. And on the bottom, it has embossing, and it says, made in France, 1310 perfume. That's all it says, but I really like the stopper, metal stopper, very ornate, the cork, uh, cool little bottle, people collect bottles, so this could be worth some money, 20 bucks and upwards, I'm thinking, just for the empty perfume bottle. And there is another empty bottle, vintage uh, Tahoma Clermont Foe, and I probably butchered that French name. I don't know how to pronounce French. Cologne, and it's an old bottle. And also, what's cool about this one, it has embossing on the bottom. It says uh, Clermont et Foe. So people collect this kind of stuff. This could be, again, 20 bucks or more. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine perfume bottles. Uh, I should make about 300 bucks with these bottles alone, which is a nice, nice score. And there were more perfume bottles on the auction, but the ladies were bidding up because they were selling them on choice first. So I think the first bidder paid like 40 bucks a bottle, and I was able to buy you at five bucks a bottle, and I got five for five, five bottles for five bucks each, and then the rest there was a thing like uh, five, bo four bottles left, and I paid seven fifty for all of, uh, the four that were at the end. All right, what else can I show you? I think that's it. I'm just gonna scan the room, make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh yeah, there is more stuff. Uh, so they were also selling lo a lot. There was a whole collection of uh, vintage uh, toothpick uh, holders. So I didn't even know that was a thing, but I am learning. So I I bought four at uh, uh, four toothpick holders at four dollars each. So I got this one, like a depression glass, very nice blue color. So uh, I think this one can sell on eBay for about. Uh, 25 to 40 dollars and I also got this amber light one very similar to the blue one similar pat same pattern but different footing but still very cool depression glass thick and again this could be 25 to 40 bucks and I also got this green one and has like a marble pattern milky and nice footed uh, toothpick holder and again 25 to 40 bucks and the last one I like the most uh, this is like a green and I think this is uranium glass vaseline glass because it's very early and look what it says on it it's aged a mother 1918 so next year 
this toothpick holder is going to be 100 years old. So I think this could be worth 60 bucks or even more. So that was a nice, nice find. And that was like, I think, 200 toothpick holders to choose from. And there was a table full of them. And I, I, I won the bid at four bucks a piece. So I picked four out of the 200. Because I didn't want to pay, pay more because I was thinking I'm going to get more at cheaper price, but it didn't happen. Uh, so, but I'm happy with the four I got. I don't need more. I don't, never sold toothpick holders before, so and I'm sure they're going to be a long tail item. Maybe the old, old, old one might sell quicker because it's so rare and people do collect them. So that's my auction haul for from tonight. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something about some antiques and vintage items. Thank you for watching, and again, let me know if you know in the comments, let me know what this is used for. It's all metal, Chile from 1925, and also this can here. What is used for? I'm thinking maybe something to do with fishing. You put your bait in there or something. I don't know. I have to look it up. I'm going to do some research, but if you know, let me know in the comments. So thank you for watching. Uh, remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. I come to you with whole videos from auctions, garage sales, and thrift stores. And I buy all this stuff to resell online to make some extra money on the site. All right, have a great night. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye.